welcome back to the final leg of our journey together through the cosmic wisdom from the channeled teaching. We've explored so many illuminating perspectives already. As we near the end, I wanted to focus today on a profoundly empowering paradigm shift described in the text. Let's contemplate the difference between seeking external salvation versus cultivating inner mastery. The Lens of Evolution The teaching spoke of humanity being immersed in fear and forgetting for the last 10,000 years. In this state, we came to see life through an evolutionary lens, a continuous struggle for safety and survival driven by primal emotions and desires. With death looming ahead, we also began seeking solace in stories of divine saviors, prophets and gurus who could deliver us from suffering. We placed our hope in reaching heavens or higher states only after this life ends. The Price of Salvation Handing over personal power to organized systems of belief and salvation may have provided comfort, but it also bred blind obedience, corruption and violence throughout history. The teaching reminds us that promising heavenly rewards while instilling worldly fear and submission does not serve humanity's spiritual maturity. True masters do not make others dependent on external intermediaries or rituals. They empower disciples to discover their own inner divinity and take responsibility for their growth. The journey of self-mastery. So what is the alternative to chasing external saviors? The teaching points to the model of self-transformation and mastery. In this paradigm, Life is seen as a journey of unfolding our latent potentials and cultivating virtuous qualities. Rather than original sin, we have original blessing, an innate core of inner wisdom and wholeness waiting to be realized as we navigate the experiences and lessons unique to each soul. The Gifts of Embodiment Physical existence is no longer a punishment, but an opportunity. By overcoming challenges and expressing our unique gifts, we develop wisdom and resilience. The trials faced in these human forms by divine design help us evolve. Each embodied life becomes a journey of mastery. Through courage and compassion, we awaken to our divine nature, aligned with our soul's purpose. Death loses its sting when we know our essence is eternal, maturing into our divinity. There will always be more growth ahead, but the transformation model empowers us to take charge of our journey every step of the way. No guru or guide, no ritual or dogma is necessary to connect us to our sovereign inner spirit. As humanity matures, we claim responsibility for our choices and soaring potentials. We come into our power as awakened co-creators, ready to manifest our highest visions. Conclusion In closing, reflect on how these two paradigms, evolution, saviorship versus transformation and mastery, impact our self-understanding and worldview. Are we beholden to external authorities or empowered agents of our experience? However we answer, may it be with wisdom, compassion, and respect for all. More reflections next time.